good, YouTube? This is Nate from the Scrub Academy welcoming you to a Zodiac combo video. Now with me is Ethan Schwarten, and he's going to be showing us how to play Zodiacs and how to set up certain combos for the deck that can just make it outrageous for your board and really hard to get over. So I'm going to let him take over because he knows the deck and I have no idea what's going on. Alright, so yeah, like Nick said, I'm just going to do a couple of different simple combos you can do the deck. Uh, the most common one you're just starting off with the one rat. Um, you just start off with the one rat and no other cards that can like enable plays. We, we can get to the more advanced ones later, but for now just say you just start with the one rat, four other random cards. What you can do is you normal summon the rat, and you will then overlay, because all these are one card overlays, so you can overlay the Borbo on top of it. Now Borbo is just in our name, so it doesn't really matter, you just want it just for the name there. You then can overlay the Tiger Mortar or the Tigris on top of it. And what you can do, act so, Tiger Mortar then gains the effect of Rat when it um, attaches the material. So you can detach one of these to special a Molmarat from your deck. Because the, the Tigris gains the effect of that. So then what you can do is you can overlay the Broad Bull on top of the Tiger Mortar. And so Broad Bull's effect is when you detach one, is you can add a Zodiac from your monster from your deck to your hand. So you're going to want to add the wild uh, the whip tail or the viper. Now because Broad Bull is a new Zodiac monster and uh, Molmarat is still underneath it, you can detach the Molmarat to special another Molmarat from your deck. So now you have effectively have two Molmarats on the field along with the Broad Bull. And this is just all off one card. So you can have you have now have enough for an overlay. So you can overlay two Mulm rats. And the most common play is to make the Digesto Emerald, just because you can then shuffle all your cards back. So you can just activate Digesto Emerald. Uh, the most common ones you want to sh um, shuffle back are the two Mulm rats that you used earlier that are not underneath there, as well as the Tiger Mortar, just because that's the most important one that you used. So you shuffle those two back in, and then you get to draw a card. So you've only used one card in, uh, one card from your hand, so since you drew a card, you're effectively back to five cards. Actually, now you're now at six because you add one with Broad Bowl. Um, so the, usually the ending play after that is to overlay Dryden or Drancia on top of Broad Bowl, and that's the majority of, like, that's the most common field you can make with the Zodiac engine. Just off of one Molmrat, um, like I said, there are, in, in the deck profile, there are ways you can summon Molmrat, you can draw the, hard, draw, hard draw the Molmrat, you have Terror Top, you have Tanky, you have Zodiac Barrage or Triangle um, from the OCG. Um, there's just about 12 different ways you can summon Mole Rat in the deck. So it's really easy to get this combo off. It's really strong going first, especially with a uh, large card advantage in your hand. You could potentially be drawing back row or hand traps or kaiju so you can set, set up for next turn. Whatever you can to do to hinder your opponent. And since you shuffled the two Mole Rats back, uh, you can do that uh, just so you can do the combo again next turn. So the next combo I'll say, or what I'll do for y'all, is one, let's say you open the Terror Top. So you open this guy right here, Terror Top. So what you're going to do is you're going to Special Terror Top, and you're going to search for this card, Tech and Tomborg. You're then going to Special Tech and Tomborg, and then you can then overlay them. And this is the point where you have a choice. You can either overlay them into either if you do not have a way to summon Molmrat from your hand or do your Molmrat play from hand you can summon MX Saber Invoker in which you can detach one the special Molmrat and do your that combo all over again or you can summon Totem Bird on top of them. Totem Bird's really good just because it negates um, when your opponent spells or traps when they activate it so it's another way to hinder your opponent. Um, this is really good if you have a, a Molmrat play already in hand so Let's say I did have the Molmrat card, I made Totem Bird, and then I can do the Molmrat play by summoning Molmrats and doing the whole Digusto Emerald and Drancia play um, as well. So it's an easy, really two card combination. What you can do is um, you can either do the Speedroid portion with the Totem Bird, or if you don't have it, you can do it with the MX Saber Invoker and get your Molmrat combo off from there. Uh, and then so the last play that I'm going to show you for right now is the two card OTK that you actually can do with this deck. So, um, one of the reasons why I really like this deck is just because um, interrupting Kaiju Slumber, so this card right here, 
as well as any way to sell mole rats. So like I said, your tankies, your uh, barrage, your terror top, or just hard drawing mole rat is an instant two card OTK. So I'm gonna explain this uh, OTK so far. So Nate, if you want to zoom out for a little bit for me, please. So say you activate interrupting Kaiju Slumber. So when that happens, you and your opponent each, you're gonna clear the field, you and your opponent each are gonna get a Kaiju. So let's say I, your opponent's right here, they're gonna get, for example, a Sea Turtle Kaiju, and they're going to get, you're gonna get a GZ Kiryu. So if you have the rat, you then can normal summon the rat, overlay the Warbow on top of it. Like we said earlier, Warbow's not really important, it's just really a name. Overlay then the Tiger Mortar on top of it. You can activate the effect, do special a mole rat from your deck. You then can overlay Broadbolt on top of Tier Mortar. Activate Broadbolt's effect to search. And you'll search for your one of Whiptail. And then you can also then activate the effect again to special another mole rat from the deck. And so at this point, so your opponent has a Gamma Seal, you have a GZ Crew, your Brabble, your Zodiac uh, Raptor, and your other Zodiac Raptor. At this point, you can overlay these two. And for this option, if you're going for the OTK, you make Gagaga Samurai. So Gagaga Samurai, what's effect does is you can detach one, and you can make any Gagaga card on the on your side of the field attack twice. So including himself. So then you activate the effect, targeting himself. So Gaga Samurai can now attack twice, so you can deal 3,800 damage with this. So, right now you have your Gaga Samurai, your GZ Kiru, and your Brabble so far. You then can overlay your Dryden or your Drancia on top of Brabble. You can activate the effect of Dryden to destroy your opponent's Gamma Seal. So their field is left wide open. Now, when you're declaring, for example, if you were to declare your Battle Phase, you can attack 1900 with Samurai, attack again for 1900, so a total 3800 damage. Plus then you can attack for 3300 damage, which is a total of 7100 damage, and then you can attack with Dryden, and then the uh, nice thing about a Whiptail is it's a quick effect from your side of the field or your hand to attach to a Zodiac Xyz monster, and so all the Zodiacs gain the attack of the monsters underneath them, so you can quick effect, uh, put Whiptail underneath Dryadent, and so when Dryadent attacks, it deals 1,200 damage, making it effectively 8,300 or game exactly. So you're doing over 8,000 damage just by do having two cards. You need to have a Slumber and a way to some Molmrak. Um, you can do it other without Slumber. I mean, if they just have one monster and you have two Kaijus in your hand, you have one of the lower ones and you have the higher one, you can do that as well. That's just um, more often not going to happen. You'll just have like one Kaiju or you'll have a Slumber. Um, so those are just a couple different ways if you have um, either the one mole rat hand, if you were to have tanky or barrage, you can do the same play with just the one mole rat card. Uh, if you have the speed roid, you can do have different combinations of that and then as well as the combination of this, the OTK version of that. So those are just a few introductory combos you can do. Um, there's more advanced ones you can do when you integrate like things like Thoroughblade, um, multiple Zodiac monsters on your side of the field, etc. All right, well, thank you so much, Ethan. I hope that everybody did enjoy this video and got to learn a little bit more about the Zodiac variant. It is a brand new uh, type that just came out, so I hope that you're learning about it. You can know how to play the deck if you are going to be playing it, especially with the, uh, the Kaiju um, engine in there as well. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it two thumbs up for me because all your support is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel and just learning, out of, learning about us, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share with your friends. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, my name is Nate from the Scrub Academy, signing out for now. Peace out.